people ask me about it all the time. So what do you mean when you tell us to love these people who are beating on us and bombing our houses and kicking our children around? What in the world do you mean when you say love such people? And I always have to stop and try to define the meaning of love in this area. And interestingly enough, Greek philosophy comes to our aid at this point. There are three words in the Greek language for love. One of them is the word eros. Now eros is a sort of aesthetic love. Uh, it has come to us to mean a sort of romantic love. And so we all know about eros. We've experienced it. We've read about it in the beauties of literature. Then the Greek language talks about phileo, which is another level of love. It is an intimate affection between personal friends. On this level, we love because we are love. We love people that we like. This is friendship. Then the Greek language has another word called agape. Agape is more than romantic love. Agape is more than friendship. Agape is not something affectionate. Agape is understanding, creative, redemptive goodwill for all men. It is an overflowing love which seeks nothing in return. Theologians would say that it is the love of God operating in the human heart. And when one rises to love on this level, he loves men not because he likes them, but he loves every man because God loves him. And he goes on with that. And so he rises to the level of hating the system rather than the individual who is caught up in that system. He loves the person and hates the evil deed. And I think this is what Jesus meant when he said, love your enemies. And I'm happy that he didn't say like your enemies because it's pretty difficult to like some people. It's difficult to like people bombing your home and threatening your children and kicking you about. But Jesus says, love them and love is greater than like. Love is understanding, creative, redemptive goodwill for all men. And somehow, more and more, I've come to believe this. Yes. This is the way that we will get out of this dark night of oppression.